D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And welcome to my week in review, where normally I talk about like TV shows and movies and everything. But today I'm going to um, just talk about um, news stories in the entertainment um, industry and everything. And I, I think that maybe I'll just try to revamp this whole Sunday video, um, just because I'm still trying to figure this all out and everything. It's a process and everything. So um, if you could just bear with me as far as uh, uh, content goes, I am working on content and um, I'm trying to you know, uh, do a good job and everything, but I'm still learning and, uh, and all that. So the first story that I wanted to bring to you is that Henry Cavill might be out as, out as Superman at the DCEU and Warner Brothers. Um, I mean, there's been a little bit of a shakeup and everything, and it's, it's been really complicating as far as everything goes. From what I understand is he wants to get, um, A-list, uh, uh, pay scale and he wants A-list treatment while on set. And from what I understand, he's very difficult because he uh, is he comes off a very ungrateful a lot of the times. And um, a lot of, you know, people just don't want to deal with that. They want, they want actors to be humble. And he's not an A-list celebrity. Like, he is not a movie star. He's an actor. I don't think that he's gotten to that movie star uh, uh, title yet or that status. Um, but it, from what I understand, it all stemmed over. He, uh, he wanted, he wanted this A-list, uh, uh, pay scale and he, they were like, no. So they wanted him to do a Shazam cameo. Um, and he said he couldn't do it because of scheduling conflicts. Um, well, Warner Brothers didn't like that. So they put out this story that he was out as Superman. And then, of course, his his uh, his manager, Danny Garcia, which is the ex-wife of The Rock, she even took to Twitter, which I had never even seen. I've never seen a manager take to Twitter, like, to to deal with a, a controversy like this. And if they have, I'm, and then I don't know about it because I don't, I won't watch everybody's Twitter feed. But, um, so she went to Twitter and everything and she's, you know, they were talking, they're, they were going to go back to the, the talking board and everything. And, um, I just think that, I think that Henry Cavill is being ridiculous. Like he was like, he was really good in, um, the last, uh, uh, Mission Impossible movie, Fallout. Um, he was so good in that movie, but that still doesn't bring him to A-list status as far as um, a movie star goes and, and everything. So I think that he's being, and plus, I think he's being ridiculous. Superman's a good gig. And I mean, I know Nicolas Cage um, just recently said that he uh, likes his portrayal as Superman. So I think that he just needs to calm it down uh, take the pay scale that he's being given right now and then you know like everybody else gradually move up and I think that he's just being a little bit ridiculous in my opinion um and I just think that maybe Danny Garcia needs to do a better job of represent uh, representing him uh, when she goes in to negotiate um, so for the next two stories, they're kind of together and everything, but they're like separate and I'll just present them as separate. So Elizabeth Tolich, Tolich has been cast as Lois Lane in the Arrowverse crossover um, on the CW's uh, Arrowverse. And um, you may have may recognize her from uh, the TV show Grimm, where she played Juliet slash Eve. And I think this is a really good pick. I think that she looks uh, like Lois Lane. I think she's very attractive. Um, we, I know we got a Batwoman cast by as uh, Ruby Rose was cast as Batwoman for the crossover. And I think that Lois, I think that this is a good pick for Lois Lane. And I think that she's a comp an actress when it comes to her TV work so far. I've only seen her in Grimm. I haven't seen her in anything else. So I will be, I'm very interested to see what she'll do with Lois Lane. And then the second story, which kind of has something to do with that, is that uh, Cassandra Jean Amell has been cast as Nora Fries in uh, the Arrowverse, uh, in the crossover. I believe it's the crossover. And uh, Nora is Mr. Freeze's wife, and she was uh, created in um, the Batman animated series in one of the most popular episodes um, of the series. And Cassandra Jean Amell is Stephen Amell, uh, Green Arrow's wife in real life. And so um, I think I've never seen her in anything, so I don't know if she's a good actress. I take that back. I did see her in America's Next Top Model, and I mean, but she was just playing herself. Like, she's so, I mean, I guess, you know, if you want to count that as a gig, I don't really count that as a gig, but, you know, what are you going to do? Um, so for my uh, 
my next story um, is, is kind of small, um, but the petition to rehire James Gunn, I know we're still talking about this, but the petition to rehire James Gunn has reached 400, uh, 400K. And I, uh, I just, uh, I mean, like, this is the thing. He's not going to get hired back. He's already exited the building, and I don't see why people are still... I mean, I guess some people will just literally die on this hill, and I just go, you know, listen, I didn't want him to get fired, but they did, and it's there's nothing we can do about it now. And then for the last thing that I want to talk about is Karen uh, Gillan, who plays uh, Nebula in uh, the MCU, she uh, put on Instagram a picture of herself holding a, um, a prosthetic, uh, not a prosthetic, but a fake head of Mantis, which is played by uh, uh, Palm Clementif, Clementif, I think that's how you say her name. Don't quote me on that. I'm not very good at pronouncing people's names and everything. But uh, she posted a picture of her holding her head, and a lot of people think that she's going to team up with Mantis. Um, I think this would be, I think this would be fun to see. I like Mantis in the MCU, and I think that Palm does a uh, Miss Clementif does a really good job of playing her. I think she plays her kind of like a, you know, kind of like dumb, but like fun and everything and I and of course I love Karen uh, Gillen as a uh, um, nebula I think she does a really good job there and, and I really uh, I can't wait to see what goes on with that of course I can't wait to see Avengers 4 it's gonna be so good I mean the last one was so good so all right so tell me what you guys that that's all I'm gonna talk about I, I um and everything but uh, so tell me what you guys thought about the the five stories that I shared with you today um are you still um you know rooting for James Gunn to get rehired back for Guardians of the Galaxy 3 um what are your theories on um uh Miss Gillen uh with the the head of uh mantis um do you think henry cavill should be be kicked out of the of the dceu i mean do you think he's being you know a diva about the whole thing and finally what do you think about the casting of cassandra jean amel and elizabeth tolich um in the arrowverse um i mean so uh go ahead and share your thoughts down below um i can't wait to see what you guys say um if you're new to my channel if you could please hit that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it if you like this video hit that like button i would also appreciate that and i hope you guys have a wonderful week i'll check you guys later. Bye.